Poverty is about not having enough money to meet basic needs including food, clothing, and shelter. However, poverty is more, much more than just not having enough money. The World Bank Organization describes poverty in this way. Poverty is hunger. Poverty is lack of shelter. Poverty is being sick and not being able to see a doctor. Poverty is not having access to school and not knowing how to read. Poverty is not having a job. It's a fear for the future, living one day at a time. In addition to a lack of money, poverty is about not being able to participate in recreational activities, not being able to send children on a day trip with their schoolmates or to a birthday party, not being able to pay for medications for an illness. These are all cost of being poor, the increased cost on the health system, the justice system, and other systems that provide supports to those living in poverty has an impact on our economy. Despite the many definitions, one thing is certain. Poverty is a complex societal issue. It is an issue that requires everyone's attention. We know that poverty affects education, yet every person without an education lives in extreme poverty. But most adults living in poverty today miss out on a basic education. Their children are also more likely to miss out as well. This is a travesty because the main way that education affects poverty is that it can help to end it. Education is often referred to as the great equalizer. It can open the door to jobs, resources, and skills that help a person not only survive but thrive. This is why access to quality education is a globally recognized solution to poverty. Education helps to remedy many of the other issues that can keep people, families, and even whole communities vulnerable to the cycle of poverty. At its core, a quality education supports a child's developing social, emotional, cognitive, and communication skills. They also gain knowledge and skills and often at a higher level than those who don't attend school. They can then use these skills to earn higher incomes and build successful lives. Lack of education contributes to poverty in three ways. First, those who drop out of school are more likely to be unemployed and less likely to secure good jobs. Second, lack of education makes it difficult for people to be self-sufficient. They need programs from the government that helps them. Third, lack of education can lead to criminal behavior and incarceration, which prevents people from becoming self-sufficient even after being released from jail or prison. It is a vicious cycle. Lack of education leads to poverty and low-income jobs which in turn lead to people not being able to afford education for their children. This means that the children are unable to break out the poverty cycle. In many cases, education is not available. Either there are no schools or schools require fees that the families cannot afford. The lack of education can also cause people to be easily fooled by economy, such as pyramid schemes, or take other actions it cost them. Crimes Poverty can lead to high levels of stress that in turn may lead individuals to commit theft, robbery, or other violent acts. In fact, poverty is the root cause of many crimes in the world such as theft, murder, trafficking, and the selling of contraband items. It is true that under certain conditions, Poverty may induce crime. There is more than one motive of a person committing a crime. But as the saying goes, inequality income is the mother of crime. Low income combined with a huge amount of work can easily result in jobs giving up, as people are expected to have a break in order to work effectively and efficiently in a acceptable amount of time. 
Nowadays, the increasing unemployment rate is one of the biggest issues for not only the individuals but also the government as ensuring civil security because joblessness may encourage illegal actions. The second motive can stem from the social environment since it is well known how much impact the poor living environment can have on people's lives. With conditions so troublesome, people often resort to crime and thievery to survive. Research found that one of the overwhelming reasons to steal is due to difficulties caused by poverty. Without proper employment, people turn to stealing, especially since family sizes are rather large, and there are a lot of people to provide for. There are too many people and not enough resources, and with such conditions, people become desperate and practice drastic measures to provide for themselves and their families.